I'm joined by Kyle Bogomis. Welcome, Kyle. How are you? Raja Suleiman with Orzov. Max McVitie. Wow. Congratulations, wow. Brian DeMars. Zach Allen. <laughs> I wouldn't be here without these guys, though, so. And the champion of Proto Concert Arcade, Ari Lax. Welcome, everybody, to Kraken Packs with RIW Hobbies in Livonia, Michigan. I'm Zach. Today, we need to talk about something. I've got an addiction, and it might be a problem, but I can't stop and I won't stop. We're cracking packs. We got more double masters here. It's too sweet. Um, I got a VIP booster. This thing's looking real nice. And a full box. So double masters, double product opening, I guess. We got one sweet booster and one box. Let's see what we can get from it. And uh, if you stay tuned towards the end, there might be a giveaway involved, so uh, you'll probably want to check that out. But let's get right in. Uh, we're going to save this beautiful, beautiful little package right here, right in the corner. That's going to come at the very end. And we're going to get straight into the actual box, and holy cow, am I excited. I opened one already that was uh, mine. That one didn't go great. We opened a bunch for the store that were much better than mine, so... I got a little jealous and uh, decided I had to go again. So here we go. We're going to crack this open. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Oh, God. This is such a nice box. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. All right. All right. Hmm. Nice little insert. Oh, no. Oh, no. Damaged box topper. Well, that is a shame. That is a real shame. Uh, oh, it feels creased. That's not good. Well, let's crack this open and see what it was. Oh, no. Now, oh, man, this one's actually damaged. Urza's Tower and a Karn Liberated, and it's damaged. That is, that is unfortunate, to say the least. Now, look. Here's the thing. This is definitely damaged, which is unfortunate. That said, it's savable. It's savable. Magic cards are meant to bend. This is never going to be mint. But I'm not selling it. It's mine. It's still sleeve playable. You got to do some bending back the other way. But the card will survive. I'll be able to play with this. We'll say it that much. I will still be able to play with this. Just very unfortunate that it is damaged like this. But you'll notice that with a little bit of working the card, I have mostly saved it. See? Mostly flat. Still more work to be done. You can tell it's still a little bent, but better than it looked it's not actually creased it just was close it felt like it was close but we saved it well kind of still not super happy about that but that's fine but you can tell this is what the other one looks like the tower and this is what the car looks like now it's fixable you just don't love to see it you really don't love to see that so that's that's annoying but we'll fix it oh man i gotta uncrease this yeah that is really unfortunate that is really unfortunate I do have this problem. I am actually a pretty avid foil collector, uh, and foils will bend from time to time. Uh, you can bend them back. You have to be very careful, very gentle, work them against the bend. But just like that, boom, sleeve playable again. Sleeve playable again. So, yeah, not great. Obviously, you don't love to see it, but it's at least sleeve playable now. So, crisis averted, I guess. Still don't love to see it, but, you know. It is what it is. Wish they'd find a better way to do these box toppers, but there it is. All right, we're going to save that box for later. It's still sweet, but we'll save it for later. All right, first pack here. Let's get these off to the side. Y'all can still see them. See that we got some left, but we're going to get to what, what we really came here for, which is the opening. Man, that is still, still a little unfortunate there, but it's all right. All right, first pack. Got some commons, got some commons, don't really care about the commons. I like commons, but not super important. We'll put them right here for everybody. Welding Jar, Sphinx Summoner, Rush of Knowledge. All right. Then we got a nice little Mesmeric Orb right here. 
I know my mill players will take that. And an austere command. Take it. Woodland champion of Balduvian Rage. Okay. Nothing money. Mesmeric Orb, I think, is sitting at about $10 right now. So not bad. And some common foils. We'll take it. But, you know, could be better. Could be better. Going to keep the opening going, though. I guess I'll put the rares up here. Foils down here. Try and make sure everyone can still see them. I'll put the foils here, I guess. Go foils there. Tokes, I don't really... Not super important for y'all to see those. Okay. Fortify. Alright, to the uncommons. Ravenous Intruder. Oubliette. Ooh, take those. And a Lightning Greaves. Not bad. Not bad. Salvage Titan. Kind of bad. With a Terastodon. Alright, we got a Nasty Terasty. That's not too bad. Ooh, Foil Blade Splicer. As a Foil Rare, that's pretty unfortunate. You don't love to see that. Foil Dread Return is nice, though. Um, I do love a Blade Splicer. I'm a fan of putting Blade Splicer in my decks. Uh, but, yeah, would would like more money out of the Rare slot there, the Foil Rare slot. Could still get more, though. Uh, I've seen mostly two Foil Rares per box, which makes sense in Double Masters. Uh, I have seen a box that had three, although it was two rare, two Foil Rares and a Mythic. All right, we got the commons out of there. Veteran Explorer, Gore Clan Rampager, Basalt Monolith. Not bad. Good uncommons. We're getting money in the uncommon slot, which is important for a box of this kind of expensiveness. Uh, Thespian Stage and Conjurer's Closet, not very good rares. They're all right, but not what you're hoping for. And then some foil commons. They're all right. Nothing special. All right, we're going to keep going here, though. Going to keep going here. Some commons. Urza's Tower. All right, I'll take an Urza's Tower. Ooh, a Mishra's Bobble. I like Mishra's Bobble. It's a nice modern playable right there. Crop Rot. Always take a Crop Rot. Onaginata. Ooh, a Land Tax. Okay. All right, Land Tax. I see you there, buddy. I see you there. Put our Mythics up here. Oh, and a Stoneforge Mystic. Okay. Now we're cooking. That's an actual hit. Crusader of Odric and a Buried Ruin as the, un or the foils there. Nothing special, but... Always take a Buried Ruin. That's a fine one. That's a fine one. I can play that in Commander if I need to. Used to be good in Modern when uh, KCI was still around. Not so good now, but not bad either. Expedition Map. Okay. Iron Bowley. Okay. All right. Fencing Ace as an Uncommon. That's not. That's good in Draft. Not so much here. Yabamai's Embrace. Again, good in Draft. Not so much here. And a Cascade Bluffs. Okay. Take a Cascade Bluffs. And a Geth Lord of the Vault. You know, I already have one of those for my Scarab Guide EDH deck. Didn't really need a second. It's all right, though. It's all right. That is a mythic, I guess. It's kind of unfortunate. Not doing so hot on the money mythics so far. And two foil commons. Okay. Well, we got more work to do in this box. We've got damaged box toppers. And, uh, yeah. Not very much else value-wise. Although land tax ain't bad. Uh, okay, commons. Yeah, nothing special in the uncommons. Valor of Akros, Kind of medium, again. Path to Exile, though, you take that. That's a good foil, or that's a good uncommon. Sunforger, as a rare. Yikes. And a Maze of it. Okay, Maze of it is good. Maze of it is good. We'll take it. A Braid and Pyrite Spellbomb. You know, for just having foil, for foil commons there, that was actually a hit. Foil of Braid's nice. Foil Pyrite Spellbomb, nice. Both modern playables, as far as I'm concerned. A Braid, less than it used to be, but still a great card. Definitely popper playable now. Okay, some more commons. Correct star, good common. Nothing special, though. All right, Oval Chase Daredevil at Uncommon. Uh, you know, wasn't played in Standard, but apparently good in Vintage. Who knew? So I guess that's a good one. And a Morkrut Banji. All right, and a Meddling Mage. Still a shame it's not the Crispa Cool art. Kind of wish it was, but, it, you know, it's fine. It's fine. Not a bad hit. And a Noble Hierarch. Okay. Okay, so our Mythics uh, have kind of whiffed so far. And our Box Toppers... Medium, uh, well, they're actually good, except, you know, damage, so not great. Uh, but our rares have been good. We got a Stoneforge Mystic and a Noble Hierarch. Also, our foil rare was bad. Uh, Executioner's Capsule is decent, though. I have played that in Thopter Foundry decks, some Urza decks from time to time, so not, not horrible. Not what you're necessarily looking for out of these packs, but not horrible. We'll take it. We'll take it. All right. Next pack, we got some commons. A Braid, we'll take it. Urza's Tower, take it. All right, Master Splicer to Uncommon. Not great. Skull Mulcher, also not great. Sarah Sphinx, also not great. And then Open the Vaults. That's another kind of bad rare. And a Felgenrath Aristocrat. Okay. 
So we've got a Hierarch and a Stoneforge Mystic and some whiffs. That's what we got here. That is what we've got here going so far. But it's alright. We're just building the good karma for later. Just building the good karma for later when we opened uh, the Foil Mana Crypt. I can feel it. Foil Mana Crypt is coming. Urza's mine. Alright. Alright. Thrabes. Best card in Vintage Cube. I'm going to keep saying it until it's just synonymous. You know, Thraben Inspector, comma, the best card in Vintage Cube. We'll keep saying it. It'll catch on eventually. If you guys want to help out with that and uh, say Draven Inspector, comma, the best card in Vintage Cube every time you see the card, please do. Okay, Flicker Wisp. I like a Flicker Wisp. Goes good with my Blade Splicer. Not, uh, not really a money hit, but we'll take it. And then we got a Merciless Eviction and a Masterwork of Ingenuity. Well, not great. Good Commander cards, but not great. Foil Glass Dust Hulk. All right. Glass Dust Hulk is sweet. Not really worth anything, but sweet card. Definitely a sweet card. Whew, feeling like we might be getting shafted on this box. We'll see, though. Building up good karma. Building up good karma. Just going to keep saying it, because it's going to happen. All right, uncommon. Got a welding jar. Not too bad. Disciple of the Vault. That was a common, so kind of bad. Gale Blast, though. Gale Blast is decent. And a Thought Reflection. Thought Reflection is sweet. Not a great hit. Duplicate, also kind of a bad hit. Uh, Defiant Salvenger and Revoke Existence. Uh, I don't think Revoke Existence. I don't think anybody's played that except... I played it in standard for a little bit. I think I was the only one. But I did. I did play it in standard for a little bit back when uh, blue-white was actually still very good. All right. Cast down. Good common. Take that. Always take a cast down. Sentinel of the Pearl Trident. That is not a good uncommon. That is whiff city. Dr. Foundry's Dees, though. Thirst is good. An exploration. All right. That's another money rare. So... Our Mythics have kind of whiffed. Our Foils have mostly whiffed. But we've done good on the Rare Department and an Ion Storm. All right, a Foil Urza's Mine, too, though. Foil Urza's Mine is nice. Uh, we'll take it. Also, Foil Springleaf Drum. Uh, not great, but, uh, you know, Max McVitie, person who's uh, played some uh, Versus videos with me here on the stream. Big fan of the Springleaf Drum, so maybe we'll donate that to Max. He might appreciate it. All right. Commons again. Dodian Whiff. Power Plant's good. Fortify. Eh. All right. Treasure Mage. Medium uncommon. Medium. Lightning Greaves is good, though. Good uncommon. Pyro Wild Shaman. Eh. All right. Well of Ideas. That's all right. Find Commander Card. Master of Ethereum. Pretty bad. Okay. Oh, man. And Endless Atlas is our other foil rare. This box has been atrocious so far. So, yikes. Yikes. Big yikes. Okay. Only have two Mythics so far, too. This has been not very good at all. Well, let's hope something comes by and saves us a little bit later here. All right, Commons. Not looking so hot. Uh, Bloodshot Trainee at Uncommon. Also not very hot. Pentad Prism Sweet, though. Glass Dust Hulk. A Graven Cairns. Not it. Joyra. Also not it. Wow, okay. Some Foil Cast Down Sweet. Not really worth anything, but I'll probably play with it at some point, so that's cool. Maybe help me foil out that pauper deck. Get some foil oubliettes. I can make a mono black controlling style deck. All right. Commons, again, nothing special here. Nothing too hot. Got a hidden stockpile in the uncommon slot. That's not too bad. Cranio plating. Okay. Sword of the Meek. I'll take a Sword of the Meek. And a Tempered Steel. All right. Foil Lightning Greaves, though. That kind of saved the pack because, as you've seen so far, we're whiffing left and right. Still sitting on two Mythics. Still with two bad foil rares. Uh, and our box stoppers were damaged. So, all in all, running subpar. All right. Commons here. Yeah, Expedition Map. All right. That's fine. Gelatinous Genesis. I have loved this card in draft. One of my favorite cards to draft with. Not really a money hit, though. Clone Shell's kind of whatever. Okay, a Thought Seize. We'll play with Thought Seize. That's a good one. And a Worm Coil Engine. So that's actually a good Mythic. Thought Seize, though. Ooh, I like a Thought Seize. Need one more of those from a cube, actually. So not, not going to complain about that one. And we're starting to kind of run back on par with Mythics, even though the value's not been too great so far. All right, how we doing in the Common Department? Yeah, nothing special there. Buried Ruin in the Uncommon, though. Talked about that one already. Not a bad one. Enlarge, kind of bad. Cold off the Flame Fiend, kind of bad. A Blasphemous Act. Well, you know, I needed one of those, but not super exciting. And a Grim Lava Man. You know, I love the Lava Man, but that is another pack full of nothing but air. 
as it turns out. So we are we are in Whiff City here, catching catching not very much very much luck so far. All right, Sphinx of the Guild Pact, Valor and Akros, and a Chief of the Foundry. That's not too hot. A Majesty of the Abyss and a Thrag Tusk. Okay, some more just Whiff City. Okay, still sitting on three Mythics, and we're down to seven packs so running real real substandard this has been kind of a disaster I'm gonna be quite honest hopefully these next seven packs are just busted and uh... just full of value that's what we're praying for here heartless pillage team of battle rage ever flowing chalice some decent commons nothing special we got a core tapper though I'd like to tap some cores alright a drown in sorrow Ooh, looks like uh... maybe a legendary frame underneath Kalia of the Vast. Okay. Okay, not a bad mythic. Not great either, but that's a good start to a, a good run back, if you will. Sculpting Steel. Fine. Not great, but fine. And then some foils that really don't have value, so not great there. All right. These next six packs about to be the best six packs ever opened on camera. I can feel it. I can feel it. How we doing? The commons. Not part of the best six packs ever opened on camera. That's fine. Manamorphose is good. Selesnia Guild Mage. All right. Trash for Treasure. Eh. Kragenwork Cremator. Well, that's a sweet card. Not really helping in the value department. Archangel of Thune. Okay, that's a pretty subpar mythic. We are at least starting to run back on average for our mythics, but wow, these are not, not good. Okay, another foil rare. So we got three foil rares and none of them are worth a penny. That's nice. Go with that Kragenwork Cremator. Okay. So really, really running not hot here. This has been quite unfortunate. I've seen some really insane box openings for this set, so uh, kind of not loving this. Getting a shaft, as they say. All right. Brainstorm. Not a bad uh, not a bad common. Culling Dais. We're still, keep in mind, we're still in the pack of the best, or the six best packs, seven best packs ever opened. Uh, we have opened two straight mythics, so that's not bad. Uh, we do have three foil rares in this box, I guess, so something to hang the hat on. A rage reflection, medium, and a council's judgment. Okay, not great, but yeah, it plays. Fencing ace and a skin wing. Okay, not still not running the hottest. Oh boy, can we get like a force of will or a J something? Something to just kind of save this, because it's been kind of bad. Kind of bad. All right, commons. Commons, yeah. All right, nothing in the commons there that's worth mentioning. A painsmith, a mistress factory, and a mirrorsmith at the uncommon. That's fine, not special. Fetid heath and a sundering titan. Yikes. Sundering titan's sweet, I guess. Uh, we got a foil brainstorm, though. That's not too bad. Not too bad. But, yeah, still not great either. All right. Still looking to hit some real mythics here. We need some big boy mythics. Like a Jace. I can feel a Jace here or a Mana Crypt. Those would both be nice. All right. Commons. Nothing special. Nothing too exciting. A fatal push in the uncommon slot, though. We'll take that. Not too bad. Fencing Ace. Reclamation Sage. And a Brea. Well, Brea's a sweet commander. So we got our six mythics. Not the mythic I was hoping for to save the pack, but we'll take it, I guess. A Riss as the other rare, which is about a $4 card. Nothing nothing crazy. All right, we got two packs left. We are running way below value here, so really hoping, really hoping one of these two packs has something sweet in them. Uh, we're kind of at our, our allotment for mythics and foil rares, though, so yikes. Not really hoping, not a whole lot left to hope for here. But maybe they'll sneak in a seventh mythic and it'll be a mana crypt. You never know. You never know. All right. Commons, we're through those. That's fine. Got an Is It Charm, a Springleaf Drum, and a Dread Return. Okay. Could be better. Firelit Thicket and a Grand Architect. Yikes. Big yikes. Got some foil on commons. Dr. Foundry's Dece. Not going to complain too much about it, but wow. Wow. This is... This this uh this box has been a first class ticket straight to Hose Town. We're living there now, living in Hose Town apparently. Not great. Draven Inspector, best card in Vintage Cube though. So we got that going for us. We got a couple of the best cards in Vintage Cube. That's nice. Path to Exile, second path. Okay. 
a rugged prairie, and here's the mana crypt. A Mazric Crawl Death Priest. That's not a mana crypt. Uh, Elvish Aberition and Sentinel of the Pearl Trident. So, initial thoughts on the box are it is a disaster. Yeah, disaster. Just straight up. Uh, we've whiffed. I was going to give away like a mana crypt or something. Uh, or the box topper, but the box toppers were damaged. And, uh, yeah, the mythics aren't really anything people will be excited about. So, <laughs> maybe we'll figure something out here. Uh, Alright, let's... Let's see if we can salvage this with the VIP edition booster box. That box was so below par that this has to be running above, right? That's the only thing that makes sense. It has to be. Has to be. Okay, okay. Feels like a winner so far. Unclear whether it is, but it feels like it could be a winner. Feels like it might be. Ooh, all right, nothing special in that box. We got a uh, oh foil worm coil token in the back there, I like that. I like foil worm co worm coil tokens in the back. Oh man, tough to open. All right, we're through the packaging though. First step completed. All right, we got some foil commons. Crusader Vodric, a braid, Frogify, Ancestral Blade, Crushing Vines, Accomplished Automaton, Costly Plunder, Cathodian, Gleaming Barrier. Not great in the foil common department, but we got a foil fatal push. That's a good start to a box. You'll take a foil fatal push. Foil springleaf drum too. Max McVitie. I can tell. I can, I can tell he's smiling somewhere. A hinder. Hinder's not bad. Not great either, but not bad. Hidden stockpile. That one is kind of bad. That one is kind of bad. Yavamaya's embrace. Again, sweet card. Still kind of bad. And a Skull Mulcher. Love this one in draft. But, uh, yeah, don't love opening it in this uh, $100 booster pack we got here. Uh, and a Sarah Sphinx. So, that Fiddle Push was sweet, and then the rest has been mostly whiffs. Onaganata. Okay. Uh, that's, a, that's a cool equipment. Not too bad. Grand Architect as the Foil Rare. You know, we already got one of those, and I wasn't really looking for a second. So, uh, yeah. But that's a foil Atraxa. That's what that is. That's a foil Atraxa. You take those. No complaints about a foil Atraxa. Atraxa is sweet. That's a really cool commander. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. All right. So we should have the box toppers underneath. I'm going to go ahead and do those at the very end here just to make sure. Got some sweet basics. Sweet basics. Always take those. Uh, foil forest. All right. Some sweet tokes. Adopter, treasure, worm. Yeah, all right, I'll take the tokes. Basics are cool. Foil forest, would have liked an island, but uh, I'll take a forest. Not going to complain about it. All right, so for the box toppers, I'm feeling a mana crypt or a force of will. we got to make up for that box that was, uh, you know, that first class trip. First class trip to Hose Town. Got to make up for that. Okay, Atraxa, Atraxa. Going to reveal a meddling mage right back in Hose Town. It's like we never left. It's like we never left. That's uh, that's wonderful. That is the the least expensive box topper in the entire set. Great. Okay, the last one. This has to be the mana crypt, right? We've been saving all the bad karma for this this one. A sneak attack. Okay. All right. And I guess another forest. I'll take a sneak attack. That's not bad, but. Ugh. Wow. So, uh, yeah. Yup. Yup. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, it looks like we didn't do too hot here. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna delete this, I'm not gonna hide it for the people. These boxes have mostly been winners, but sometimes you whiff, and sometimes you lose. And sometimes Wizards takes you to Hose Town, which is uh Yeah, that's where we're living now, so gonna be gonna be not great there. Uh yeah. Okay, so we said there was a giveaway. I'm gonna ship out this Atraxa. If anybody wants a foil Atraxa, I'm gonna put that in a sweet little package with this Brea and this Kalia, and we're gonna call it the Commander Starters Mythic 
section, I guess. So if you want a chance to win a Foil Atraxa, a Kalia, and a Brea, uh, all you're going to have to do is just retweet this on Twitter. I'll tweet it out. You can just retweet my tweet or tweet it yourself. Um, I'll see it, you know, I'll see, see other people that tweet it. And then uh, a week from today, uh, I'll put you, just everybody who did that, tweeted on Twitter, said to go watch the opening. Uh, I'll put you in a drawing to win the package of these three mythics. So, yeah, thanks everyone for joining us for this opening. Remember, if you like the video, uh, we also appreciate subscribing. Also, yeah, I guess anybody who subscribes to I'll, I'll put all the subscribers in it too, because why not? If you want to subscribe, you got a chance to win. So, yeah, just, just subscribe, retweet, any of that will get you in. Um, yeah, and if you, know, if you like the video, every like helps us. Every subscriber helps us grow the channel. We really appreciate it. And uh, with that, thanks, everyone, for joining us.